Hello everybody, my name is Damie from Damie Crafts and in this video I will be flipping through these three ephemera books that I bought a couple of days ago. The Art Studio Ephemera and the Toys Ephemera by Port Host and Kate Curry and Pretty Postal Ephemera and False Stamps by Keely O'Brien. So in my last video I did a flip through of Port Host and Kate Curry's Cute Bear Ephemera book. However, the quality of that video turned out pretty bad and I wanted to apologize for it. Um, I used a new video editing software on my phone um, and I was still th figuring things out but now I know how it kind of works. I hope the quality of my videos will improve. Um, I also know that Nicole from Relax Got Glue already did a flip through of this book. Um, so you might have already seen it if you follow her as well. However, I wanted to include the book in this video as well as love and appreciation for Keely. She is such a sweet person and I talk to her a lot on Instagram. And she is always so appreciative and supportive. So I wanted to include this book in the video for her. So. This one is for you, Keely. She also has a YouTube channel that I will link down below among her Instagram and also Porto's Instagram. I've already seen what's inside these books because they arrived Tuesday evening and I looked through them with my mom. I am very excited to show you all the fun pictures that are inside these books. So let's start the flip through. I will start with Art Studio Ephemera first. I also will be putting timestamps in the description if there's a certain book you're curious about that you would like to see the content of before you buy it for yourself. So Art Studio Ephemera by Porto and Kate Curry. All of their books include um, this book belongs to page. I personally don't use it, but if you want to, you can. Um, on this side, there are the images you can cut out and on this side, there is an image you can look at. So you don't have to look at a blank page. You also can cut the image out to use as a background. It is all up to you. So what I like about this book is that there are real life photos mixed in with illustrative images, which I really love like so i really like to make artist trading cards at the moment and i did notice almost all of the images are a little bit too big to make artist trading cards off but that's okay I do not mind at all because they can be very fun in glue books as well. Can anyone explain to me in the comments what this is? Because I have no idea. It looks funky. That's all that I know. She looks like um, Vanellope von Sweets. I think that's her name. I've never seen the movie, but I do know her character. crayons inside this book. I also like that there are also pictures of people doing arts and crafts. I love this picture. I'm not from America but I do know this is apple barrel paint. I've seen a lot of people use them. They don't sell it here in the Netherlands, unfortunately. Elmer's glue. Never used it before.
washi tape. I think I actually own this one, like the exact same one as in this picture. That's, that's funny. These are alcohol markers. These are very fun. I own them myself for my um, for when I draw. They're really fun to use. They do stink because, of course, they are alcohol markers, so they reek of alcohol. Tiny scissors. Ooh, this ruler. This ruler is very pretty. An apple themed art cabinet. A traveler's journal. I use them for my glue books very often because I like the format. Maybe I should have done that a little bit earlier. And we're at the end. So you can follow Kate Curry and Portos on their Amazon. And you can also visit their website, email them and visit Toast's Instagram. You can pause to read this page if you want to. So let's go to the next book. Which is the toys one, also from Kate Curry and Poor Toast. This one was really fun to flip through. Very um, nostalgic. You will see what I mean. I mean, you already can see what I mean, right? <laughs> there are pictures of dollies, computer games, stuffed animals. And... There are also real life photos mixed in with images. Toast, if you uh, listen to this, please make more books mixed uh, with um, pictures and photos mixed because it's really fun. If you're able to do that, of course. You have arcade games, Barbie houses. Baby toys. I don't know why I have a thing for baby toys and I always have. I just think they're so cute and so nice to look at. Especially the pastel ones. Maybe I'm just a little bit weird. But then again, aren't we all? I think everyone has had these like wooden... Um, whatchamacallit? Like wooden toys as a baby. I had... My mother had one. A patched bear. And a patched lion. So cute. Lots of toy trains as well. And these funky looking sunglasses I would love to live in this house <laughs> funny little marshmallow I'm not sure if you hear that but there's a crow right now being very loud my apologies if you hear it <laughs> go away buddy I'm filming Did you used to have one of these, like, computer games? As a kid, I had one. I grew up with the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And I used to watch my mom play games like Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3 and Donkey Kong. She used to have, like, this three-page sheet of documents contain uh, containing, like, 
cheats and secret passageways in Donkey Kong. She really loved that game. A bolt dolly. What I like is that you can now play these old Super Nintendo Entertainment System games and other older Nintendo games on the Nintendo Switch now. Uh, I do own the Nintendo Switch, I don't play games very much, I'm not very much a gamer, but I do enjoy the nostalgic feeling of playing the old games that I used to play with my mother. This is what I mean, I think everybody used to have these as a child. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> These Barbie Malibu houses. These game controllers, so cute. These books, when you first use them and flip through, they are always really stiff, but the more you use them, the more flexible they become. And there we have a game over, that's funny. There we have the toys one, now we will go to the last one. And lastly, we have Pretty Postal Ephemera and Faux Stamps by Keely O'Brien. And let me tell you, the images are in this book are very pretty. But then again, Keely O'Brien's books um, are always very pretty. I highly recommend checking her out on Amazon. Like, look at this. Isn't this just great? I want to, like, cut out this page and just hang it up as a poster. Um, you can pause to read this if you want to. Keely always uh, put a little message in the beginning of her books to show her gratitude and, and talking about her book. So this book is obviously postage themed and it has a lot of very pretty vintage images as well as very pretty faux stamps. When I first looked through this book, I got a little bit emotional <laughs> of how pretty all of these pictures are. I'm, I'm sure that's a little bit silly, but I get emotional really quickly when I see pretty things. There are tags in this book as well. Postage stamps of different sizes and designs. I really love to use um, postage stamps in my collages. If you haven't seen my collage work already, I use vintage and international stamps. They are very fun to use in uh, collages. And I know I'm going to have a very good use out of these stamps for sure birds oh look at this pink one the colors in this book are so nice they're so such i'm not even a huge fan of pink but the pinks in this book are amazing Butterfly stamps. Like, look at this blue. I recently found out that I have a bit of a love for the color blue in both light and dark. Then again, I wish you could see this in real life. In real life, this looks even better than on video. It's just so nice. Very pretty little ladies in this book as well. 
roses. You can even use this image. Amazing. Keely, you're amazing. I love you. <laughs> but I also really love Portoast. Portoast is also a very, very kind person that I talk to a lot on Instagram. Also very sweet and supportive. I really love the collage community. Everybody is so sweet and supportive of each other and enjoying looking at each other's creations. Like look at this pink. These tags and these keys. These lovely people and these lovely mailboxes. Kitties and doggies. If you know me, I am a huge cat person. I love cats. I also really like dogs. My favorite breeds are the Sharpe and the Chow Chow. If you search up like Sharpe and Chow Chow puppies, you will see what I mean. They look like little teddy bears, like little living teddy bears. So many postage stamps, I'm in heaven. More pretty blues. You can even like stamp your name in there if you want to and use it as a front image on like your junk journal or your glue book. The possibilities are endless. I know Nicole from Relax Got Glue really really got excited about these because her favorite color is teal and now I see it in real life she is right these colors are just amazing oops my hands are a little bit slippery these old mailboxes. I wish we still had them. Ours are very ugly in the Netherlands. They're just like a big orange box. And they're very hard to find as well. More of this beautiful blue. Gives me inspiration. We are nearing the end. All these fun little envelopes you can use on ATCs or twinchies. And there we have it. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching the pictures that are inside this book and maybe it inspired you to buy one of these books as well. I hope you have a very lovely day and God bless. Bye bye!